All right, going live. Hello, this is Mer 171 Today I'm bringing you the next in my line of field strip videos, the Six Hour P232. This gun is very similar to the Six Hour P230, which is a 32 version of it. It's also very similar to a Walther PP and several other variants of the Walther PP. Note that unlike the Walther PP, it does not have the manual safety and it does have the addition of a decocker. And the breakdown is not pulling down the trigger, but pulling down the slide release lever. Now the slide, the disassemble lever. Now, we have to verify that it is unloaded. I already have, but we always check more than we need to than less than we need to for the obvious reasons. Take an empty mag. It's best done by taking an empty mag, inserting it into the magazine well under the European magazine lock and pulling back the slide. This will lock the slide back and you able you to visually and physically check that the chamber is unloaded. Release the magazine through the European magazine release and the slide will stay back. You can look down at this point see that there's obviously no round in the chamber or in the gun. This gun is there by say. You can pull back the slide and bring it forward slowly. Now, this gun does come with a decocker. Decockers are to keep you from having to engage the trigger and bring back the hammer slowly, which if the hammer was to slip, it would be possible to engage the firing pin and discharge the weapon, bringing the slide back into your thumb, which could cause problems and also any accidental mischarge. Comes with the inherent risk of an accidental mis discharge, so remember that. These come with decockers, you can see. Bring down the hammer slowly from the rear. This is what it will look like. There you go. Now, with that said, let's get into the actual um, disassembly to field strip position of a SIG P232. To do that, you br first bring back the slide slightly and engage the takedown lever with your thumb. Pull it down. At that point, you can let it forward, but it's not engaged anymore. Notice that it's been brought down perpendicular to the slide. Now pull back the slide, lift up as to and then bring forward. Make sure that the slide is up, that the side plate will come forward without smacking the back of the receiver. That's good. Okay, at that point the slide is off the gun, you can pull the recoil spring off. Now, with that done, you can now take your screwdriver Take out the screws in the grip, like so, and unwrap the grip from the rear. Now don't just sandwich it open. Just open it as little as you need to so that it will come off of the gun. There we go. Now that is actually the field strip position. There's a couple of things I'll point out. For example, here's the decocker in action on the strip side. Push it down, it will work under this config without the grips on it. There you go. Now I just brought forward the hammer so that the mainspring doesn't have any pressure. You do this if you want to remove the mainspring, which can be a little tight due to the fact that it is under like a 22 pound spring or somewhere in that area. You can do that, you can bring it forward. Best way to do that is make sure that hammer is all the way forward and make sure you really just want to crank it out of there. Now you can do that just by put, compressing the main string and then pulling it out and it will come out. I'm not going to try to do that with the camera between me and it. Here is the firing pin block. This is disengaged when you pull the trigger so that the firing pin can go forward freely and s strike the primer. This is to prevent if you were to drop it in single action mode while it's in single action from the hammer being smashed, break the steering engagement, come forward and smack the firing pin. This will prevent, notice that I'm pressing on it, and the firing pin cannot exit the face. So we can't get a little zoom on it. See, notice how it can't go any farther forward. Now, when I push that, 
I, you can say that the firing pin did protrude. That's what that's for. Prevents accidental discharge in the event of dropping the firearm or lowering the hammer with your thumb. So, and the hammer slipping. But that's that's the disassemble to failed strip position. I wouldn't recommend going any farther than this unless you know what you're doing or you're a qualified gunsmith or whatnot. But that's it. That's the position. All now, right. Reassembly of the six hour P232. I like to start with the grips. To put the grips on, make sure that the cutout for the decocker and the grips goes under the decocker. Don't put it over or to jam things up. So put it, put it under the decocker. All right, line it up, and you should see that it is lined up back here. Now flip it over and line up the other side. You'll feel them slide into place. There we go. Notice that it's flush. It's ready to go. Now put the screws in back in the grips, like so. Remember, put them in snug. Don't over tighten or under tighten. Basically, don't crank the hell out of it or just leave them all loose. Just put them in there snug. If you don't know what snug feels like, get some experience with tightening screws. I'm just kidding. But snug, probably about 15 to 30 inch pounds of torque. Nothing major. Now, at this point, you'll be able to test it, make sure the hammer's working, which it is. All right. That all feels pretty good. Now, crock the hammer back. That's going to have to be back and make sure your takedown lever is in the perpendicular position to your slide. Slide your recoil spring on like so. Make sure it's in position all the way up flush against the barrel mount. And now take your slide. Make sure that the barrel and the recoil spring are in, lined up with the muzzle. You can see I'm lining up there. And pull back until it protrudes. See it protruding? Bring back at an upward angle until it's all the way back. Lower down gently and then you can bring it forward like so. Push the snap, the takedown lever back in place where it parallels the slide. That'll prevent you from lifting it up. At that point it should be in the ready to roll scenario. Ready to go. Alright. That's how you take it down and and uh, reassemble it if you were going to clean it after a day at the range. Now, I personally love this gun, this model gun. I think it's the perfect woman's carry gun. I think it's an outstanding men's carry gun if you can afford the room. Why would I say women can afford the room better than men? Well, that's easy. Women carry purses and can fit larger guns because they get to carry purses. Men can carry purses too, but that's a different thing, I guess. But all right, this is Murr 171. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm gonna keep making these field strip videos for people on just various guns, and they'll be able to see how to take them down and reassemble them, and just for general cleaning and or general use and uh, I'm looking for commentary on how to improve them so please feel free to leave some comments and please subscribe and I'll keep the videos coming but this was the SIG P232 MER171 I'm signing off thank you and goodbye